I'm in Bali um, to do something for the World Wildlife Fund and something against the plastic soup and uh, the pollution uh, and to enjoy a little bit of the weather. I can use some sun to be honest. It's super early in Bali, uh, 6.35 and today's going to be a very busy day. I'm exploring Bali uh, to see the effect that uh, the plastic uh, in our ocean has on life here and how bad it actually is. Um, yeah, I want to get a good view of um, how our lives being affected about uh, the use of plastics and how big of a problem it actually is. Guiding me today is uh, Vincent from WWF. He's going to show us the hotspots in Bali and show us what the pollution is doing uh, here on the island. Um, yeah, where are you taking us today? Yes, so to, today, this morning, we're at Jimran Beach. Uh, this is a location where usually a lot of ocean plastic will, will come to the beach. It's also being actively cleaned up. And later today, we're going to uh, another island to see the, the manta rays, uh, which are really being affected by some of these ocean plastic. Let's go. I'm here in Bali um, as my first stop as an ambassador for the WWF in their fight against the plastic soup. This beach is actually pretty okay because um, there's a famous uh, soda brand that's paying these ladies to clean the beaches in their effort to, uh, yeah, to stop the pollution. But we're gonna see some spots today that aren't so nice. Here you can see the result. You see, it's on the beach. If you just grab a little bit, you can see the tiny parts of plastic. See? And once it's this tiny, there's nothing else we can do. And it's gonna be in the environment. Not nice. See, these are even straws that even haven't been used. It takes 400 years to, to make sure that it's gone. It's also a big problem that they're catching way too many fish. But so many people want to eat them, so there's a lot of people that actually want to have it. Oh my god, guys, the smell. The smell. Oh. Normally uh, I would uh, definitely like to dive, but we're uh, too short on flights because uh, yeah, I got to get back on the plane soon. So we're going snorkeling, but actually apparently that's even better than uh, diving. Um, that's the boat we're going on. And we're going to see the effect of uh, the plastic on the ocean life. Turtles Conservation and Education Center. And it has also something to do with my mission for uh, WWF. Am I supposed to act like you ain't used to throw it back like that? I'm that alcohol. Tell me how am I supposed to Here's another turtle safe. It's a green sea turtle rescued by the police. On September 30th. Estimated age 30 to 60 years old. As soon as possible it will be released back into the ocean. So here you see all the plastic and it actually goes from the rivers into the sea and then it's being uh, broken down and it comes into your food and the smell oh my god So how did I do? Yeah. Good? Yeah, you did well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys. Freedom is awaiting. And just a few feet away where we just released the little turtles, we find heaps of plastic again. It's depressing really. 